What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the On Point K9 Academy. We're here back at Ricky's house for her third lesson um, and we're going to be introducing the e-collar for the very first time today for her introduction lesson. Um, we do use the e-collar when we train dogs but what makes us uh, different than other trainers is that we make sure the dog understands everything we're going to be asking of it with the e-collar which is why we spent the last two and a half weeks uh, conditioning the dog to a clicker um, with treats, long line, and a flat buckle collar just to get her to understand what we're asking of her. So now we're going to show the owners how to reinforce all of that with the e-collar. So stay tuned and we'll let you see how this goes. Now Ricky's got her e-collar on for the very first time um, and all we're going to be doing is trying to find her working level first. Once we find her working level and uh, she's indicated that she's feeling the collar, then we're going to work go, go on to uh, just working on the very basic commands that she knows, like the back of her hand which is the place command, sit, and a recall. So we're gonna start now. So nothing yet. Move up one. Nothing yet. So we're at a five and still nothing yet. So I think she felt that one. I'm gonna kind of get her tension off of me. I'm gonna toss a treat over here. Try it again. Yep, so I think she definitely, I think she did feel it because she's looking around a little suspiciously trying to figure out what that was. We're gonna go up one just to see what that does. Okay, so she definitely noticed a seven. So we're gonna start at a seven. So we're gonna lock that in now, just to make sure we can't go up or down. And we're gonna use just the continuous mode. So the point of the continuous mode, I'm gonna start to use it before I give the command. And as soon as she starts to give the command, just a lot like we did the clicker, as soon as she started uh, giving us what we wanted, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna stop holding it as soon as she gives us what we want. So this is gonna to start to build that speed with, with the commands as we're going forward. Ricky, place? Yes. Good. Place. We're gonna treat every time for these couple days as go. Break. Ricky, place? Ricky, place? Yes. Brick. Ricky, place? Yes. See how that grabbed her attention right away? Good place, good place. Brick. Ricky, come? Yes. A lot of times, especially with dogs like this, break, that want to just be by your side the whole time and you can't get them to go far enough away for that recall. You just want to kind of walk fast enough, pull yourself back before they catch it and then use that opportunity. Ricky, place. Yes. She took a second there, so I held it a little bit longer. So she lifted her head up, she realized it shut off. So this is just pressure on, pressure off. Break. Looking at the body language, she's not having a bad time with this at all. Tail still wagging, she's just worried, okay, this is how I get the treat, and she's doing it faster, so. Ricky, place? Yes, good place, good place. The training's 20% of it. The rest of the 80% is literally how you interact and let her be a dog and how you live with her and stuff like that. And if you don't mix in some of this with the training, it's no fun. Yes. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, so I think that was a, an amazing success. We're gonna leave her in the introduction phase doing exactly what we just did here a few times a day. Uh, it is Thursday today. We're gonna be coming back Tuesday to move her onto the intermittent phase. And then after that, we're gonna be weaning her back off of the e-collar uh, only when needed from that point on and start giving these people the off-leash obedience that they really, really would love to have with, uh, with Ricky. So I hope you guys enjoy the journey. Stay tuned for more updates.